Hello, welcome back again to Xfinity. Today I will show you how I make my intro animation in After Effects. This video is going to be super amazing and I am very excited about this. We will see step by step tutorial on how I make this amazing animation as you are watching right now in detail. So make sure to watch this video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So without any further delay, let's see how to make this awesome intro animation. Alright fellas, welcome back again to Xfinity and today I'm very excited to show you how I make my intro animation as you saw in the starting of this video. So we are going to see what are the requirements and what is the procedure to create a perfect animation and we are going to go through each step in detail on how you can make an intro animation just like a pro. And before starting this video, make sure you watch this video till the end because it is very important to understand each and everything and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos so let's jump into it all right fellas so first of all you need a script what you are going to record is very important that you write something in the notepad or in the documents so this text is also needed in the later stage so the step one is you need a script and after you have written your script what you are going to say you need to dive straight into the Adobe Audition to record your voice. So the step number two is you need to record your voice and I highly recommend to use Adobe Audition because it is very flexible and it includes awesome tools to record your professional voice but you can use any software or application you want but my recommendation is Adobe Audition. So once you are right inside the Adobe Audition you need to click on this red mark which says record. And as soon as you click on this, it will ask you some information to input, but we will only change file name. So as you can see, I have entered the intro as a file name and as soon as I click on OK, it will start to record my voice. So this is my voice recording. So once it is started, I need to dive straight into the my script so that I can read it. Today, I will show you how I make my intro animation in After Effects like a pro. So this is the portion of the recording that I need and I will trim it after that. So I will stop this recording. So as you can see I have successfully recorded my audio and now I will remove the unnecessary parts. I will simply select this path and I will hit delete on the keyboard. And this is the necessary portion that I need only and I will also select the this part and I will delete this. So this is the audio that I am going to use. To animate uh, with this script and that will be synchronized once your voice is recording you need to go to file and then you need to click on export and then navigate to file again and here you simply need to write the name of the file and you need to click on ok and once you click on ok it will output the wave format of your audio all right fellas so we have the script and we have recorded our voice according to the script and now we will move to the step number three which is converting the audio file. So for this we need to dive straight into the Adobe Media Encoder. So once you are right inside the Adobe Media Encoder, basically it is used to convert the audio and the video or any format that you want. So that is very essential to target the specific settings to record the perfect voice or synchronize it with the animation. So I will click, double click on this section and I will open my file which is intro. So now you can see the intro dot wave has been imported into the DOM media encoder and now I will apply some settings. In order to apply some settings you simply need to click on the presets that is wave or something will be displayed here. You simply need to click on this. So it will output the export settings. So once you are right inside you need to select the format and make sure it is waveform audio and in the presets we are going to use custom and once you select custom make sure the export audio is selected and you have named your output file and you need to scroll down in the audio section and you need to make sure audio codec is uncompressed 
and the sample rate should be 16000 hertz it is very important because the hertz of the sound is very important in order to animate it with the audio recording so after that you need to select the channels it must be mono not stereo and the sample size should be 16 bits and that's all and once you are done with the audio settings you simply need to click on ok and once you click on ok you need to simply click this button that says start queue or enter and we are done now we have done three steps we have written the script we have recorded the voice and we have also converted the audio in the proper format all right fellas so the step number four is in the after effects that we are going to make the animation according to the audio and the script for that first of all you need to make a composition and make sure the width and the height is 1920 by 1080 or you can use any dimensions you want but i recommend to use this and the frame rate should be 60 it will look very smooth and the duration should be 40 seconds and make sure to keep the background color as black and click on ok but also you can name any composition you want for now i will simply write xfinity and once you are done you need to click on ok all right so as you can see the xfinity composition has been imported and now we need to import the audio that we converted or recorded so this is the audio and this is the composition i need to drag the audio into my sequence and you will see the layer here and once you have successfully imported the audio or intro.wave into your project sequence you need to mark each and every word that you spoke using the comments or using the pointers or using the pointer techniques in the after effects that i'm going to show you for example i'm going to play this uh, audio so as i play this audio i can see the today here and if you are not sure where was the today you can hold the control and you will see the preview so this is the section where T is being spoken so I will simply I need to mark each word that I spoke into the audio all right so for this I will hit static on my keyboard and it will create a pointer or a marker I will double click on it and I will, I need to write the same word I spoke in the audio so the first text was today so now we have the audio today here and we have the marker with the comment today here so this is very important it it means that we are going to animate uh, this word or this uh, text at a specific location so the next thing is today and then there it is i so this is the word i and uh, you can hold the control and move your slider or current time indicator cti and uh, you can uh, easily listen what you are uh, saying in the audio so as you can see the i is being spoken here and i will again click or hit the static on my keyboard and it will create a marker or a pointer i will double click on it and i will write i just like this so in this way you need to write or point each and every word in the audio just like this by creating a pointers so i will create all pointers and i will be back shortly all right fellas so as you can see i have pointed each marker at a specific location where that word was spoken so this is the area where today is being spoken i have created a pointer here i will show you and i have made a full layer just like this all right so this is the step number four you need to uh, create uh, pointers at the audio layer so that we can animate or we need to know where it is being animated and now here comes the very interesting and the most amazing part now we have the audio we have the pointers and now we need to animate it so for that we are going to use the type monkey and the type monkey is the after effects scripts that you can download from the official website which is ascripts.com and let us dive straight to the uh, website so that you can know what is this and you can explore it on your own so this is the uh, script that i use for my personal animation in the after effects as you see the kinetic text it is generated by the type monkey which is awesome and the price of this is almost 90 dollars and uh, i have a floating server license which cost 130.50 dollars something around and if you want this product in a cheap price you need to contact me on the instagram you can see the instagram uh, username on the screen it is official xfinity and you can contact me and i will provide you type monkey in a very cheap price so once you have purchased the type monkey from me or from the official website it's your choice i will provide you the same thing in a lower price and you need to go to window and you need to obviously install the type monkey first so i will click on this 
and here is the type monkey that is going to be super amazing and do our work like a pro so for this I need to copy the text from my script so this is a text that I will copy and I will dive straight into the type monkey and I will paste it here and now what it will do it will try to synchronize the each word with this pointers and it will try to animate alright so these are all the settings that you can do but I will uh, show you what I use mostly so I will simply go to the color palettes and I will select this color I like it and for the motion blur I also enable the motion blur for my videos and the most important thing is you need to select this layer and after that you need to select the marker sync so it is going to point each and every marker in this uh, music audio or voice recording and it will try to uh, map it with these words so after that you need to simply click on do it and magically it will try to animate each and every word like a pro amazingly so I can close it now so now you can see if I speak today today will appear like this and if I speak I it will automatically animate and uh, do I like this and will show you how I make my intro animation in After Effects like a pro so this is the steps that I follow let me play this video so this is so cool and this is done in a second using type monkey so i highly recommend to purchase this type monkey today from me and you need to, to contact me on the instagram for this and as you can see the only time required is uh, uh, marking the pointers here and after it is done we can use type monkey to animate it just like this and once you're done with the step five we need to export that with some very fast settings so that it can render the project in a very less time with great efficiency and great output so for this i usually use my settings that i'm going to show you for this you need to go to the composition and click on add to render queue once you click on the add to render queue you need to select the output module just click on this and i select quicktime and in the channels i select rgb plus alpha because it is going to be make my background transparent as you can see this is black but after i export with rgb plus alpha it is transparent and for the audio i will select 32 bits 48 kilohertz and stereo and click on ok and after that i will try to render this in my desktop and i will click on save and uh, i will quickly click on render and now you can see the speed this is a very complex animation but the speed is very good so this is possibly made by the some after effects settings that i will also make a video on how to you can increase the rendering speed in after effects so let's wait for this and let's continue after that all right fellas so we are done with the rendering and it almost took around one minute and three seconds so this was very super fast because I have applied some settings I am also going to make a video on this too so after that I have a, a file which is named as Xfinity and the extension is move so I will also need to convert it into mp4 for this I will double click on this and I will select my file which is named as Xfinity I will click on this preset I will select h.264 leave everything as it is and I will export it once I click on ok I need to click on start or you can hit enter and you are done now let us see the final result what we have achieved and what we have learned in this video so this is the result that we were waiting for and i hope you learned many things in this video so now you can make a perfect intro animation just like this and what you need only a patience with your audio by pointing each and every word using markers or pointers and you need type monkey that is going to do everything for you so that's it guys and i hope you like my video and you like this tutorial if you do so and if you have learned something new make sure to hit the like button subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell notification as you know this is very difficult part and i made this uh, on a daily basis and again thank you so much for watching this video and uh, it was a really interesting thing to me to share something that i have in my personal use or that's very unique so that's it guys i hope you enjoy your day and see you again